Hello friends and welcome to this quick video I'm going to make on supply lines. It can be a bit tricky at the start, but once you understand how they work, they're very simple. Now one thing I will start by saying is you need in your charisma, you need at least one perk of the local leader. So the first perk, uh, you're able to establish supply lines between your workshop settlements. So you need to put a point in that and it requires at least six points in charisma. So if you have that, uh, the way it basically works is if I go to this workshop right here and I go transfer everything I've picked up from all my missions, I can, because I'm on PC, the hotkey is T to store all my junk. So I do that and I've got everything available here that I've picked up and with that I can build, uh, I can build anything I want. So let's just say we go to power generators and you can see in my menu there I've got 21 screws, 53 gear, that sort of thing and that's all great as long as I'm here in Sanctuary but if I go to somewhere that I've barely been to, say Overland Station and I travel there, everything that I've put in that workshop back at Sanctuary would not be available to me here so instead of splitting all your stuff and carrying it between each place you can set up supply lines and then what is whatever is available between your supply lines can be used. So, for example, if I go back into generators, you can see the list I've got here. So I've only got two gear, 20 steel, that sort of stuff. So what you have to do is you have to find a settler. Let's use this settler right here. And now down the bottom, I can go E command to move her and assign her to say a crop or something but down the bottom is Q, supply line. So I hit Q, and then let's set her up with uh, the Sunshine Tidings Co-op, because I've already got a supply line between there and uh, Sanctuary. So assign supply line to Sunshine Tidings, enter confirm. And so now she's assigned. So when I hit tab, uh, down here I can go show supply lines. And I've got a supply line between Sanctuary and Sunshine and Sunshine and Overland. I don't need one directly from Sanctuary to Overland because they're connected by this. So anything that's connected on the one line, you can use anything. So if I go down into generators again, see I've got all my access to everything there. Got no defense here. While I'm at it, I might quickly build a turret. Put it anywhere, whatever, I'll move it later. So I couldn't have built that without the supply lines. Um, so it's pretty simple. And then you can start taking full advantage of putting everything into one workshop. So you might have uh, an area that has no open water. Um, if I was to go to resources, water, see that? The stream out there is outside my area. So my only option for this place is to build these little water pumps and they don't really produce that much. I really want to have access to say a water purifier. Um, so if I have a supply line between Sanctuary and here, then the water supply in Sanctuary where I have my water purifier can supply the water for this place. So that's basically it. If you have any other questions, just let me know in the comments below. And feedback is appreciated. Thanks very much. Have a good day.